And so I can sit here and talk all day, all day, about the things with Uber Eats that truly bugs me. But I'm just going to put one, one more thing into the mix. And this time it was a little bit different because I got to enjoy <laughs> the experience as a customer this time around. But it ties into being a driver. So last night was Friday night and I had friends over. So we decided to order off Uber Eats. You know, you got to have fun with it. You can order pizza, spaghetti, putsin. That's literally what we ordered. Now, my experience with Uber Eats has always been great when I've ordered in the past. I'm not a big ordering person, but every once in a while I do. So we ordered from Uber Eats and nothing wrong happened within the order. But I was curious on things and I'll let you know in advance. The screenshot you're going to see was not from my phone. It was from somebody else's. But I got curious. The delivery was dropped off, and I think it was like 5.10, it was like dropped off. And then it was like 5.25, and the order still open on the phone. And so I'm browsing the order to see things, because I always want to see if I can get new things. And of course, Uber Eats gives me something new. Now, for some reason, the timestamp, when I took the screenshot on the phone, it wasn't timestamp, but this was 5.26. So at 5.26, I'm browsing the order, and this is what I see. It still currently shows in progress but as well it's allowing me to go in and contact the driver take a pause there people because if you're a driver you know exactly how i'm feeling about this topic that should not be allowed and let's flip it over to being a driver as a driver what our clients do not know is after your delivery is dropped off we have no means to contact you like literally the app does not allow us to do so but if you're going to contact us post delivery I would say within the first five minutes that should be allowed for example a bag is cut open and there's missing items well those bags are always sealed we don't have access to them so if it's cut open probably a driver cut into it because the restaurants make sure they're sealed because they don't want complaints going against them beyond that let's say the bag is completely shut sealed everything was smooth sailing but you're missing items in your bag that's the restaurant it's not us we go, we get the items, we bring it, that's it. But to have access to contacting us within 15 minutes after your delivery, we're probably on another order or maybe even two orders at that time. I was wondering the other day when my brother and I was talking and he told me, he says he got done a delivery and about five minutes after the customer contacted him saying the fact that the order was at the wrong address. She did not update the address in advance on the app. She did not contact him at all throughout the delivery. She did not even notify him as maybe she noticed he was dropping it off. No, she waited till after. She calls him and she says, I want you to bring my food to this address. And he turns around and he does the exact same thing I would do. No. Why? Because one, you didn't do it within the app. But two, we're gig workers. When we complete that gig, the gig is up. Because the bad part is, is cheap uber eats will not go in and let's say when you click that button to contact us they're not going to turn around and say hey ash i've noticed there's a problem with that client do you need to go back to that location if so we will credit you this much amount of money no they don't offer us that they turn around and say use your own gas your own time your own everything what's the problem with the client we don't give a f you fix it and that's not how it works so the fact that clients can go in 15 minutes post delivery, it still shows in progress when it was absolutely completed, is complete BS to me and Uber should not be allowed to do this. Because what's that going to do? It's going to turn the clients against us and they're going to get pissed off and they're going to contact us first when they should be having either Uber support or the restaurant involved. If Uber support turns around and they assign a driver with compensation, that's one thing, but they never do that. And it just amazes me that Uber gives customers so much power. For example, tip baiting. They can revoke a tip within the one hour after delivery happens. And it's happened amongst me. You've seen the videos on the channel. And if you haven't, you can go ahead and click above. But to also have the power within 15 minutes post delivery to contact us again, when we have no access to getting a contact with you, it's just complete BS. The worst part too, is if I'm on a double stacked order and I'm dealing with client A and client B messages me, Uber Eats doesn't let me toggle to client B because I'm on with client A. I have to get done client A first before I can respond to client B. And that makes me look like a rude asshole to the customer because I can't get between each one of the orders. 
I don't know, Uber, you're giving too much power to the customers. Things need to change, but I know that Rome was not built in a day. I'm not asking for Rome to be built in a day, but I'm asking you to make some freaking modifications because us drivers are feeling the heat. And well, I like to bring the awareness to the crap that Uber Eats like to serve to us on a silver platter. If you have experienced a customer within 15 minutes post delivery contacting you, comment below. I wanna know if this is happening amongst all markets. Is it just in my market? Cause I feel bad for that delivery driver. First of all, I would not want me to be dealt with after a delivery. That's probably not a good idea, but I don't think any delivery driver should be going through that just because we know the repercussions that can be coming from that and it's just not okay. So I've got it off my chest. It's out in the open and I'll catch you lovelies in the next video.